Hey guys, my name is TSW and thanks for watching my glyph video for the warrior in the mists of Pandaria Beta. Just going to do a quick rundown of the different glyphs and what they are and my thoughts on them. So uh, let's get started. So we've got the major glyphs and we've got the minor glyphs. Major glyphs being the more desirable ones generally and there being more of them. And then the minor glyphs being uh, a little, little extra. Uh, so yeah, let's work our way down the list. I'll uh, go over them all uh, briefly with what they do and then my thoughts as to how useful they are afterwards. So let's start, start from the top. Glyph of Blitz, your charge stuns an additional two nearby targets. We used to have a talent that did this. Glyph of Bloodthirst increases the healing of Bloodthirst by 100%. We've had that glyph before. Glyph of Bullrush increases the duration of your charge stun by 0 0.75 seconds. Glyph of Cleaving increases the number of targets your cleave hits by one or three when enraged. Glyph of Colossus Smash, your Colossus Smash also applies the Sun Drama effect to your target. Glyph of Death from above reduces the cooldown of your Heroic Leap by 15 seconds. Glyph of Enraged Speed, whilst enraged you move 20% faster. Glyph of Furious Sundering reduces the cost of Sun Drama by 100%. Glyph of Gag Order, your Pummel, Heroic Throw and Stormbolt abilities also silence the target for 3 seconds. Glyph of Hamstring, when you spend Rage on... Bleh, when you spend Rage to apply Hamstring, the Rage cost of your next Hamstring is reduced by 100%. Glyph of Heavy Repercussions, whilst Shield Block is active, your Shield Slam hits for an additional 50% damage. Horse Voice reduces the cooldown and rage generation of your battle and commanding shout by 50%. Glyph of Hold the Line improves the damage of your next revenge by 50% following a successful parry. Long Charge increases the range of your charge ability by 5 yards. Glyph of Mortal Strike when your Mortal Strike is affecting a target, healing effects on you are increased by 10%. Glyph of Overpower Cleave Hits increase the damage of your next overpower by 10%. Glyph of Raging Wind, your Raging Blow hits increase the damage of your next Whirlwind by 10%. Recklessness, Recklessness no longer increases damage taken. Glyph of uh, re Resonating Power, bleh, increases the damage and cooldown of Thunderclap by 50%. Glyph of Brood Interruption, successfully interrupting a spell with Pummel increases your damage by 5% for 30 seconds. Glyph of Shield Slam, your Shield Slam now dispels one magic effect. Glyph of Shield Wall, Shield Wall no longer reduces damage taken by an additional... Th sorry, did I say that right? I don't know. Shield, shield Wall now reduces damage taken by an additional 20%, but its cooldown is increased by 2 minutes. Glyph of Spell Reflection reduces the cooldown on Spell Reflection and Mass Spell Reflection by 5 seconds. Glyph of Sweeping Strikes reduces the Rage Cost of your Sweeping Strikes ability by 100%. Glyph of Thunderclap increases the Radius of your Thunderclap ability by 2 yards. Glyph of Whirlwind increases the cooldown by 50% and damage by 50% of Whirlwind. Glyph of Insight, your Devastate hits cause your next Heroic Strike or Cleave to be a critical hit. And the last major Glyph, Glyph of Victory Rush, increases the total healing provided by Victory Rush or Impending Victory by 50%. So let's go over the Major Glyphs first. Um, I'm, I predominantly tank on my Warrior, uh, so I will have slightly better coverage uh, in, in with regards to tanking hopefully, but you know some insight as well into playing a Warrior generally. So Blitz, uh, yeah, fairly standard, we've had this before in the form of a Talent. Uh, you know, we all know what this does. You charge someone, two other people get the short stun effect. That's fine. One thing I will mention is with Blitz, if you have um, where's the one, where's the talent which increases the uh, bull rush. Here we go. Increases the stun duration. Uh, I presume that that stacks. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, if I got Blitz, I'd probably want to get bull rush as well. Uh, so yeah, those two go well together straight up, straight away. Um, Glyph of Bloodthirst, again we've had this glyph before, increases the healing, doubles it, you know it's great uh, for when you need to stay alive, um, doesn't increase the damage but increases your survivability and if you're doing any sort of soloing or doing you know like uh, level 80 content or whatever, you know getting heals and soloing instances and raids, 
pretty cool glyph, that's what I used it for at least anyway. Um, Glyph of Bull Rush, like we said before, um, self explanatory, increases the stun duration. Glyph of Cleaving, now because I'm a tank, I uh, I know the importance of cleave, and again, you know, if you're uh, DPSing as well. Um, so basically, yeah, again, self explanatory, uh, increases your cleave to attack a third person and then a fifth person when enraged. Increases the number of targets your cleave hits by one. By default it hits 2, so with this it'll hit 3, and then in Rage it'll hit 5. So hitting 5 people with your cleave, that's pretty good. Um, I know there are definitely some power auras or uh, buffs which I definitely want to be keeping track of, uh, and Rage definitely being one of them. Uh, so my UI will probably change uh, a little bit, hopefully a lot, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have a big rehaul every year or so of my UI, it's kind of interesting. Anyway. Um, Glyph of Colossus Smash, let's get it so you can actually see the tooltip. Glyph of Colossus Smash, you know, we've had this before, self-explanatory, does the Sunder Armour buff, or debuff. Uh, Glyph from Death from Above, reduces the cooldown of Heroic Leap by 15 seconds. Uh, without the Glyph, Heroic Leap has a 45 second um, cooldown. With this, obviously, mm, 30 seconds. So it's pretty nice, uh, good for maneuverability and uh, definitely one to consider for the fight. Make sure you have Dust of Disappearance with you because there will be some fights where, well, a lot of fights where you'd want to be swapping and changing this. And I do quite like the way they've done, they've done the glyphs. Uh, but I'll maybe talk about that at the end. So I actually talk about <laughs> the glyphs first before I go out on a tangent and talk about other stuff. Uh, glyph of Enraged Speed. Whilst Enraged, you move 20% faster. I think this is a cool, cool glyph. Again, uh, similar to death from above a maneuverability glyph I'm uh, I'd like to see how this works in practice uh, PvE n doesn't really do anything really uh, but in PvP it would be interesting not sure it would be amazing but again I will test out in PvP play some arms play some fury you know sort this stuff out uh, oh, let's unclick that uh, fury sundering so explanatory, we've had it before, uh, reduces the cost of Sun Drama by 100%, not Devastate, just Sun Drama. So if your uh, DPS and your, your tanks or whoever isn't doing their um, the armor debuff, you know, you've got this. Uh, gag Order silences for 3 seconds with your Pummel Heroic Throw and um, Storm Bolt. So explanatory, we used to have this in, in the form of a talent, and yeah, silences, it's good stuff, good stuff. Uh, hamstring, um, I don't think this is that strong, in, in all honesty. It's one of the weaker um, major glyphs, in my opinion. But uh, by all means, you know, let your voices be heard down in the comments below if you disagree or want to share your insight on any of uh, the you know debate about whether glyphs are good or not or how you'd use your glyphs. Um, so, Cliff of Hamstring, I think... I suppose, yeah, but... Mm, like... I don't know, how is, what is Hamstring's uh, rage cost? 10. It's 10. That, it's not, if it was a 50 rage cost, yeah, but 10, 10 rage. It's not that great, in my opinion, at least, anyway. So, uh, let's keep going down the line. Heavy repercussions, you know, we've had something similar to this before, in the form of a talent, this being one out of the two uh, points spent in. Again, decent, you know, hit, you hit harder. You're going to be spamming shield slam a lot as a tank. Uh, so yeah, you know. And obviously you're going to have shield block up quite a lot as well. <laughs> um, Glyph of Horse Voice. Uh, reduces the cooldown and rage generation of your commanding shout. So you buff it more, but you don't have the uh, the rage benefit as much. So what Battle Shout does is increase the um, attack power of all party and raid members within 30 yards by 10% lasts five minutes and generates uh, 20 rage so it's got one minute cooldown if you needed a slight boost of rage frequently yeah yeah get it I can imagine people going for this um, just to try and nullify any kind of rage starvation as long as the rage starvation is occurring frequently enough for you to get this talent if you know what I mean um, if you're rage starving once every five minutes no point in getting it but if you're rage starving um, ideally two and a half minutes then yeah that's great get it but it depends on uh, your gear and how rage is being given 
and acquired. Okay, so we've got Glyph of Hold the Line. Um, it, it's fine, you know, it's good. We've had something similar to this before, and yeah, Prot is good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, Glyph of Long Charge increases the uh, the range of charge by five yards. We've had this before. We all know what it does. Funny enough, what it says in the tooltip. Uh, Glyph of Mortal Strike. This is interesting. I do like this. Uh, when you have your Mortal Strike on the enemy, you get you yourself get 10% more healing, which I think is very nice. I think that's a very cool glyph, and definitely one to be taking in PvP as arms. Definitely, yeah, it's great. I'll have a bit of that. Uh, glyph of Overpower. Cleave hits increase the damage of your next Overpower by 10%. You're only going to be cleaving in AoE situations. So, only get this if you're going to be using both abilities, obviously. Um, so, I find myself not really using Overpower that much when in an AoE situation. I'm using the Whirlwinds, the Blade Storms, and the Cleaves, and uh, more Strike, more so than Overpower. So, again, I've not played Arms yet on the beta. That's something that I'm going to uh, look into and obviously try and do some videos for you guys. Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting to see how it works. Uh, it's good. Uh, there aren't a lot of glyphs that do extra damage that I've noticed, or even talents. It's more ability based, uh, whereas before the talents used to be, you know, increases your strength by 5%, increases the damage of your mortal strike by 10%, this sort of thing. Uh, which I think is it's good that we're getting some, you know, big boosts like 10% damage on abilities like this. I do think that's cool. Um, but yeah, want to definitely test out before I can um, give a definitive answer. Raging Wind, I think this is, uh, again, cool, yeah. Raging Blow hits increase the damage of an Whirlwind. Again, Whirlwind only in AoE situations, so get it if you're Whirlwinding. Again, it's self-explanatory. If you're using both abilities, get them. Why not? 10% damage. It's better than, you know, any of the other abilities. Um, Glyph of Recklessness. Recklessness no longer increases damage taken. PvPers, get this. Like... If you any sort of arena going on, it's like, oh, warriors pop wreck, kill the warrior. And all smart PvPers will have macros to take recklessness off them. There's no way that you can keep recklessness on you when you're getting focused by a good team, at least. Uh, so that's really nice. And you won't necessarily know who's got the glyph and who hasn't. That's pretty cool. So you can actually not be running the glyph and have you know m more damage orientated glyphs and um, that'll be you know a bit of meta game there um, yeah that's interesting I like that I like that and I hope you can't tell until you arm read them afterwards maybe anyway uh, what uh, glyph of re uh, resonating power uh, increases damage by 50% uh, which is fine but the cooldown We've got a few glyphs like this where they give you one thing and take another away. Which I'm not a huge fan of these kind of uh, glyphs and you know, systems for abilities. Um, I'm just trying to think how it would work. I think, yeah, it, it would work. It depends. Again, it depends on the scenario. Um, threat's only, a, a, only um, an issue at the beginning of a fight. Um, I wouldn't use this glyph or recommend anyone else using this glyph if you're having ads running towards you or you know running or ads being pulled um, at a constant rate so every five seconds there's a new ad coming in you'll want to be thunder clapping frequently this not allowing you to do that but if you've got say uh, an encounter where five ads spawn now you want to obviously the dps might want to damage them straight away and that's fine uh, but the snap aggro you get with a, a really nice uh, shockwave and with this glyph, a harder hitting, higher threat generating thunderclap, that would be great as well. So, it, yeah, it's good in that situation, but not in any other. And my shit's turning on. Right, uh, so it's my PSP. Don't ask why, I, have, I still use it because I'm old school. Anyway, uh, we have rude interruption, successfully interrupting a spell with pummel and creep. Like we know what this is. We've had a talent previously. Yeah, it's good. As long as you're interrupting. Self-explanatory, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we get it. Uh, Glyph of Shield Slam. Your Shield Slam now dispels one magic effect. Cool. This used to be... You know, we didn't even have to spec or Glyph for this. Uh, but, yeah, it's cool. You know, 
in certain situations, but as a, as a doing tanking as a, like the majority of tanking where it's important is in boss fights. That's not going to be relevant. So yeah, if you're PVPing as a tank, yeah, or I don't know. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, that's my verdict. I've gone from yeah, yeah, yeah to no, no, not good, not good. Uh, Glyph of Shield Wall. Shield Wall now reduces damage taken by an additional 20%, so it boosts it from 40 to 60. We've had a glyph like this previously, but increases its cooldown by 2 minutes. Let me just refresh myself. So that would take the 2 minute cooldown of 40% reduced damage to a 4 minute cooldown to 60% damage. Again, depends on the fight. If you're a tank, get everyone get a handful of dust of disappearance. I'm setting a bad example by only having 9. You want a stack of like 50 or whatever, so you can properly, you know, between encounters, sort your glyphs out. The same with talents, I think it's annoying as hell, the way that, because, like, you only have a few talents to choose from. I wish that out of combat, like glyphs, you could just change them, but I don't know, that's one to moan to Blizzard about, I suppose. Uh, so where were we? Glyph of Shield Wall, yeah. For certain encounters, yeah, get it. Um, also, potentially for PvP if you're getting focused a lot, but you generally go for the damage abilities. But one to think about, regardless. Uh, Glyph of Spell Reflection reduces the cooldown of Spell Reflection and Mass Spell Reflection by 5 seconds. Self-explanatory, the cooldown of, of uh, Spell Reflection is 25 seconds. It's been changing a little bit uh, here and there within like the last few years of WoW, and hopefully they leave it, <laughs> leave it alone. 25 seconds I think is fine. With the Glyph, makes it uh, much more viable option. Again, depending on the encounter, um, a lot of this is coming from a PvE stand standpoint, so I apologise if you're PvP orientated. Uh, Glyph of Sweeping Strikes reduces the rage cost, that's good, you know, we've had it before, good, good, good. Uh, Glyph of Thunderclap, extra um, 2 yards, so it takes from 8 yards, I believe, to 10 yards. Thunderclap is 8 yards, yeah. Uh, and Thunderclap costs no rage anymore, that's great, I love that. But there are so many more. Co don't don't like don't take me for enjoying playing Cataclysm on my uh, Cataclysm. Uh, don't take this as me enjoying um, Mr. Pandaya because it's annoying as hell having all these new abilities and spells being different. Oh, it's annoying. Anyway, uh, Glyph of Whirlwind uh, increases the cooldown by 50% and increases the damage. It's cool as long as you're going to Whirlwind once. Again, it's self-explanatory now. I don't need to explain this stuff, do I? Uh, insight, your Devastate hits cause your next heroic strike or cleave to be critical hit. That's cool. Uh, insight can't be used for you, uh, you DPSs because you're not going to be uh, devastating. So that's a tank-only glyph. Um, yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Threat generation, I, I find myself hitting Devastate a lot more than I... Well, I don't know. Yeah, a lot more than I used to. Well, a bit more than I used to. More than I used to. There we go. Let's start for that. Um, Glyph of Victory Rush, increasing the healing done by impending victory and victory rush. Yeah, it's good. More heals. Good for... Well, I don't know. It's not actually that... Well, it's good. It's a good, solid Glyph. Yeah, but it's not one that you'd use. That's the argument I'm trying to portray. Uh, it's a good Glyph, but not one you'd use unless you're soloing. Simple as. And then we come to Azir and Minor Glyphs. Uh, where again, you just have three to pick from. We have um, Glyph of Blood Curdling Shout. Uh, your battle shout and commanding shout uh, terrify small animals. Now, you, this is a must have glyph. I'm not even joking. You need to strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. You need to make those little pets and whatever. No, this is doesn't do anything. Nothing. There's no material gain. There's no extra damage. There's no, you know, nothing. A glyph of bloody healing increasing increases the healing you receive from bandages by 20% while your deep wounds is active. A little bit weird, I think, that it's only when deep wounds is active. I'd have preferred it to be like 15% or 10%. That would have been cool to make, uh, you know, have warriors be a little bit, you know, actually, you know, first aid be buffed. I think that's really cool having first aid be buffed. Um, we used to have field dressing before, but, you know, I don't know. Just when deep wounds is up, I think that's a bit weird, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's cool, I suppose. A bit annoying if you have to keep... Well, I don't know. Just bandage when you like and hope that Deep Wounds is up. 
a bit weird. Uh, Glyph of Burning Anger. You get so angry when enraged that you catch fire. I have this glyph, and in the beta, it, you don't catch fire. You, it's broken. This glyph's broken. Um, they added a load more glyphs, actually. Uh, before, when I glyphed, uh, the only glyphs were available were the ones that did nothing, like Glyph of Blood Curling Shout and Burning Anger. Anyway, um, uh, Crow fe Feast. Uh, your execute critical strike summon a flock of carrion birds. Does nothing. Nothing. Maybe if the enemy has, in PvP situation, has a bad computer, more shit running around, flying around, might cause them to crash out. That's the only benefit I can think of. Uh, Glyph of Enduring Victory. When your victory rush or impending victory heal you, you grow slightly larger. Yeah, you, you do. I, I'm using it. Does nothing, really. Just grow a little bit. I, I was hoping it could stack and I could be the size of a house. But it lasts for like five seconds, if that. Not great. A glyph of gushing wound. Your bloodthirst critical strikes are even bloodier than normal. Yeah. Uh, a glyph of intimidating shout. All targets of your intimidating shout now tremble in place instead of fleeing in fear. Fear. You know, you see seeing out there. Yeah, they stand still. We've had it before. You know the drill. Uh, Mystic Shout, your Battle Shout and Commanding Shout cause you to hover in the air. I can actually show you this one now. Actually, I can't because I've done the viewport weird. Okay, you grow a little bit. And you, well, that's it. You, you, you don't grow, sorry. You levitate for a second and come back down. Wow, nothing happens really. Uh, Glyph of Thunder Strike, your Thunderclap visual includes a Lightning Strike. Barely anything. It does nothing. I don't even know if it is a lightning strike. Because I know it has like a bit of lightning before, a bit of thunder. It's like in the name. So they are the minor glyphs. Again, I've kind of gone through them. Yeah, you know, nothing to shout about. They, you summon shit. You catch fire. You grow bigger. You levitate. Bullshit. They do nothing. Don't get them if you want to win at the game. Um, yeah, I've just gone for them because they were there and I wanted to test them out to see if they were fun. And yeah, all they are a bit of fun, and I I think that's quite good. Again, me saying they're, they're bullshit glyphs, they are because they don't do anything, but they're fun to have. Maybe if you're into fun. Okay, so um, this has been my glyph video. I will do a uh, another video later down the line where I play around with all the glyphs. After sorry, playing around with all the glyphs, I'll do a uh, um, like an extra addition to this video. Uh, where instead of explaining what they are, I'll do specific rundowns of what's good about them, what's bad, how you can not necessarily exploit them, but how to get the best out of them. Okay? So thanks for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the whole orientation of the graphics and whatever. And make sure you thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and it's your favourite if you uh, want to refer back to it. And I will catch you guys later for some more um, World of Warcraft Mists of Pandaria action. So cheers guys and I will catch you guys later. Bye.